Canada's most secret animal. Can you guess what it is? I'm sure I can. Give me a clue. Well, the first clue is that the secret animal has a peculiar appearance. The walrus has a very peculiar appearance. It lives in the north of Canada and spends most of its time on ice packs. Walruses have sensitive whiskers on their faces which help them find food on the sea bottom. They eat clams, mussels, crabs and fish. Although they're awkward on land, they are very graceful swimmers. The walrus does have a peculiar appearance, but it's not the secret animal. I know another unusual sea animal. What about the killer whale? It's the largest of the dolphin family and is one of the fiercest predators in the sea. Killer whales are not fish. They're mammals like us. They're warm-blooded, they produce milk for their young, and they come up to the surface to breathe in air. They're also clever acrobats. They can stand up in the water and look around. Although they are unlikely to hurt people unless they're provoked, killer whales will eat almost anything, including walruses, sharks and squid. Killer whales hunt in packs of up to 20, called pods. All the killer whales in a pod are related. They are very intelligent and talk to each other in their own language. Though we can't hear all of their sounds because some of them are outside the range of human hearing. Baby killer whales stay with their mothers for about two years. I'll give you another clue. Like the killer whale, the secret animal carefully looks after its young. Owls hunt food for their young. There are more than a hundred different types of owl found all over the world. The snowy owl is the only one to live in the Arctic. Most owls are nocturnal, hunting at night. But the snowy owl hunts during the day. It has a huge wingspan, and like other owls, can fly without making any noise, so its prey won't hear it coming. The snowy owl's white coat helps camouflage it in the snow. Like the snowy owl, the secret animal makes an unusual sound. Maybe it's a water bird. Some of them make unusual sounds. Canada geese make unusual sounds. In fact, they have a complicated vocabulary. The Canada goose belongs to a large family known as sea geese. They're different from other geese because they don't fly in any group formation. 
Like all birds which migrate when the seasons change, Canada geese have a good sense of direction. This helps them find their way over long distances. Canada geese are very common and they've been introduced to many different parts of the world. But you won't find the secret animal all over the world. Here's another clue. A secret animal has a special smell that helps it to recognise others. If the secret animal has a smell that helps it to recognise others, it might be the white-tailed deer. White-tailed deer have a musky smell that comes from glands on their back legs. Baby white-tailed deer recognise their mothers by this smell. White-tailed deer also look after their young. The mothers hide their fawns in the forest until they are old enough to run. White-tailed deer have a way of warning each other of danger. Whenever they're scared, they snort and stamp their feet. Then they flick up their white tails. White-tailed deer usually run away from danger. They can run very fast, up to 60 kilometres an hour. Black-tailed deer can also recognise their mothers by smell. Black-tailed deer eat grasses, shrubs, mushrooms, nuts and moss. The male deer sometimes have vicious fights, knocking their antlers together and forcing their opponent's head to the ground. That's to show who's boss. But sometimes their antlers become locked together. Then neither of them can eat, and they both die of starvation. Black-tailed deer, like the white-tailed deer, run away from danger. The secret animal doesn't run away from danger. It has a very different way of defending itself. The fissure defends itself by hunching its back, spitting and growling. Fishes belong to the weasel family and live in forests. They are good at climbing and swimming. Fishes eat porcupines, which they flip onto their backs so that they can bite into their unprotected bellies. Female fishes are pregnant for a very long time, nearly a year. Fishes have a thick coat with long and woolly fur underneath. This helps keep them warm. The secret animal's coat keeps it warm too and helps it to survive in its cold home. That's your next clue. Sea otters have a thick coat of fur to keep them warm. Sea otters live in the cold waters of the Arctic Ocean and along the west coast of Canada. Sea otters have a clever way of defending themselves. When they're frightened, they hide in kelp, a type of seaweed. They sleep in beds of kelp too to stop them drifting away with the current. Do you know what sea otters have in common with people? No. What? Like people, sea otters can use tools. How do they do that? They float on their backs and put stones on their chests. Then they break open seashells on the stones. That's how they get to the food inside.
almost nearly became extinct earlier this century because they were hunted for their thick coats. But now they're protected under an international treaty. I know lots of other Canadian animals that have a thick coat to help them survive in the cold. Maybe one of them is a secret animal. If the secret animal needs a thick coat to survive, it might be the Canadian lynx. They also have large furry feet that keep them warm when they're stalking prey on the snow. Although they're usually quiet, lynx sometimes make a sound like a scream. Lynx have large ears and very good hearing. The secret animal has very good hearing too. Is the lynx a secret animal? When do they hunt? At night. The secret animal sleeps at night. You'll have to keep on searching. Harbour seals sleep at night and they have a coat of thick hair. Harbour seals also have a layer of fat called blubber which helps to keep them warm in their cold home. Harbour seals live on ice floes, on sandy beaches, and sometimes they're even found in fresh water. seal is also called the common seal. It's now an endangered animal after years of being hunted. But it's not the secret animal. What about the timber wolf? It has a thick coat to keep it warm in the cold Canadian forests. Timber wolves live in packs of up to 15. They are very cunning animals and often use tricks of surprise or ambush when they're hunting. Timber wolves are fast runners but sometimes they can be outrun by a deer. Timber wolves send messages by howling. If a wolf is separated from the pack, he or she will howl so that the others know where it is. Do they make any other noises? They also bark and growl, like dogs. Don't forget, the secret animal makes a very unusual sound. What else can you tell me? Well, if the secret animal has a thick coat to survive, where do you think it would live? Probably in the north of Canada, where it gets very, very cold. Dull sheep are found in the north of Canada, and they grow a long coat for the cold winter months. Dull sheep also use smell to recognise each other. During the breeding season, the rams fight with each other. The sound of their horns clashing can be heard over a kilometre away. The secret animal does live in the north of Canada, but it's not a sheep.
there are some very unusual birds that live in the north of Canada. Maybe one of them is a secret animal. If the secret animal is a bird, it might be the puffin. Puffins live in the north of Canada, high up into the Arctic Circle. Puffins are excellent swimmers and catch their food underwater. They move quickly through the water, flapping their wings as if they're flying. They can stay underwater for several minutes. Puffins don't build nests like most other birds. They breed on rocky outcrops and in burrows along the coast. Both male and female puffins care for their young. While one minds the chicks, the other goes off to find food from the ocean. Is the puffin the secret animal? The puffin is a very good guess, but it's not the secret animal. I think I should tell you, the secret animal isn't a bird, it's a mammal. The Arctic fox is a mammal, and it also lives in the north. The Arctic fox has adapted well to its cold climate. It has tiny furred ears, which help stop it losing too much warmth from its body. The Arctic fox's coat changes colour in different seasons. It can sense the length of the days, and the colour of its coat changes along with the hours of daylight. In summer, the Arctic fox is brown and white. As the weather grows colder, it changes to a grey colour. Then, in the depth of winter, it becomes snowy white. The Arctic wolf is another mammal that lives in the cold north. There are many different types of wolves found in Canada, and the Arctic wolf is the smallest. Arctic wolves sometimes travel over frozen ice packs and can hunt animals much larger than themselves. When they're in a pack, arctic wolves can be very aggressive, more so than any other animals in the north. The secret animal isn't aggressive. Alright then, give me a new clue. The secret animal is often bothered by insects during summer, but it has a special way of dealing with them. Caribou are bothered by mosquitoes and other insects. They'll form a circle or lie in sheltered snowbanks to get away from them. Caribou live in large herds, sometimes as large as 10,000. Caribou have a good sense of smell, which they use to find food and detect danger. Caribou eat grass, plants and fruit. The secret animal also eats grass, plants and fruit. Is the caribou the secret animal? No, but can you think of any other Canadian animals that are bothered by insects? Mm. 
I know a very large animal that has a clever way of fighting off insects. If the secret animal is bothered by insects, it might be the moose. When flies and mosquitoes annoy the moose, it submerges itself in water or mud to avoid them. The moose is the largest deer in the world. The male can reach over two meters in height and can weigh close to a ton. In the mating season, the male moose, or bull, will make a loud bellowing sound. If he hears a female call back, he'll crash through the forest to reach her. Mothers are very protective of their young. When new calves are born, the mother will drive other animals, such as deer, out of her territory. She will even chase her older calves away, leaving them to survive in the forest alone. If a bull moose is aggressive to her calf, she will leave, taking her calf with her. Although it's a timid animal, the moose can be unpredictable and dangerous. They avoid contact with people. The moose has been hunted by man. The secret animal has also been hunted. That's another clue. The wapiti was hunted for its teeth, which were used as jewellery. The wapiti is the second largest deer in the world. The name wapiti is Indian for white rump. They are alert and use all their senses to detect danger. The wapiti's antlers are very heavy, and if one falls off, the wapiti becomes unbalanced, and his head tilts to one side. Wapitis make a distinctive bugling sound when they want to challenge others during the mating season. Wapiti live in small groups of up to 25. We're getting closer, but don't forget, the secret animal lives farther north. Wapitis live in the open prairies and in meadows across central Canada. The polar bear was hunted for its coat and it lives in the far north on the edge of the Arctic ice pack. During the colder stages of winter, they hibernate in hollowed out dens. Polar bears walk long distances every day in search of food. Their large size helps to maintain their body temperature and they have thick furred feet to protect them from the cold. Polar bears have a thick layer of fat to keep them warm. They also have water repellent coats and partly webbed feet. They can tread water and swim for hours. Polar bears are carnivorous animals, mostly eating seals and fish. Polar bears have good eyesight and will often stand on their hind legs and stretch their necks for a better view. They also have an amazing sense of smell and can detect a dead seal up to 20 kilometres away. But the polar bear spends most of its time alone. The secret animal lives in herds. It lives in herds high up in the north. It's been hunted. I don't know. I think you'll have to tell me. What about this animal? It lives in the Arctic Circle, it moves in herds, and it has a very peculiar appearance. It was hunted by the Eskimos for its horns, which were used as bows. What is it? 
It's the musk ox. So this is the secret animal? Yes. The musk ox has a long shaggy coat, which helps it to survive in the cold. Its coat also keeps insects from bothering it. The musk ox is usually a peaceful animal. Musk ox have one of the most unusual ways of defending themselves in the animal world. If they sense danger, such as a pack of wolves, the herd will form a protective line or ring. They also protect their young this way, standing their ground between their calves and the intruder. They are very tough animals. Their calves are born in temperatures far below zero. The musk ox has a strong musky smell during the breeding season, and that's how they're recognised by others. Although they're Canada's largest animal, musk ox can run quite fast, and they make a peculiar sound. What's that? A deep, throaty rumble. They have good hearing and eyesight, but can only see shapes in silhouette. The musk ox has been on Earth since the Ice Age. It's Canada's most secret animal.